Welcome to High Value Performance. When you see the fold and turn, the key thing is you want to scan and you want to know if a defender is closing you down quickly. Because if you know that, then you know you can roll the defender and you can go on and then you can triple and you can explode out and do exactly what he did. Now with this drill, the key thing is we working on take-ons here, but I want you to understand it from a perspective of we doing that exact same movement just with a take-on added. So what I want you to do is after you do the take-on explode out. So just imagine that you rolling a defender, then you take on another defender, then you're exploding out into open space. It's the same movement, but you can do two variations. So this movement will stay the same, and then one you can do with a take on, and one you just dribble and explode out. And this will basically give you the best of both worlds with this drill. The key thing is though, this turn, that's what we need to focus on, and that's what we're improving on. Stay. Now the second drill is about aerial control. Now this is a much tougher one than the previous drill. So this one will be broken down into three different parts. Now the first one is the easiest variation. What you're going to do is knock the ball up, check your shoulders and then control the ball and keep it up. And then you continue in that manner. This is basically building the foundation and a building block because all three drills will have this facet of play so this is where we build the foundation to move on to the other drills now the second drill is the same as other guards movement there you're gonna knock the ball up scan check your shoulders control the ball and then after that you need to look up and find your next pass so this is all within one movement so you can call it all within one phase of play now this is like i said the exact same situation Odegaard found himself in so this is direct improvement with regards to that movement the key thing here is is getting your first touch to set you to where you want to go now a first touch basically moves you to your next action so the key thing is to scan to understand what's around you take a touch based on that information and then play your passes now the final drill is the toughest variation where we are combining the other two drills and adding in more of a speed of play element in terms of combining play so what happens is knock the ball up control the ball after scanning and checking your shoulders and then what happens next is you're going to find your pass and then after you find your pass you're going to turn check your, your your shoulders receive and then find the next pass after that now what this does is it's basically working on your your pocket play as well as your aerial control and this will get your speed of play to a whole nother level Now the final drill is about finishing. So you're going to combine the final movement on the previous drill on the third one where you're going to scan just before receiving and now you just need to finish. So what this is exactly like with Soboslai's goal 
you're gonna drop into a pocket of space scan check your shoulders before receiving and then you need to finish and put it in the net now this is directly related to his goal there and the key thing of what he did was the part where he dropped into that pocket of space and received quickly set himself with that first touch and then took that rocket of a shot in so this is directly improving that situation for your own game and you're building the knowledge and the movements based on that situation there the key thing here is once again your first touch your first touch needs to set you up for a good strike after you check what's around you so the information that you get from scanning and checking your your shoulders will tell you exactly what touch you need to take just like with him there he knew okay i'm gonna turn let me get that first touch out set myself and hit that strike you need to do the exact same thing basically the rundown of how you improve your speed of play and the drills that you need to do to improve now if you're looking for more drills based on this topic i've compiled all of my best drills into this ebook here in which basically all of these drills that are shown are included with more and more drills which will basically build your speed of play and your ball mastery to a whole nother level now, in addition to this ebook, there's a lot of things like the drill setups, the drill tutorials, but also a lot of information that will help you understand this topic more, but also based on the technique behind a lot of the drills and the skills. So if you lack the technical skills or the understanding of how to do these technical skills, that ebook will cover everything. And it comes with plenty of sessions included which will basically give you a good template to set into your own training week now if you're looking to get regular training similar to this the link is in the description down below i've got a free training program out currently it's not going to be free forever and in the next few weeks i would say i'm going to start actually taking that free program down so if you want to get a free training program with quality drills that will help you improve all round ball mastery finishing for every position then sign up for their training program the, the ebooks link is in, in the description as well as well as the training program so if you're interested in those two things you know where to go but that's it from my side in terms of these drills everything is covered if you have any, any more questions comment down below and i'll answer all of your questions or your concerns all right cool i'm out